Scipio Africanus. We have it here now in the Wheel of Fortune. And today I'm going to spin for Scipio. Now, here's the thing. I haven't been spending a whole lot into the game, probably less than $1,000 overall since the beginning of the year, probably not even 200 or 300. So in that case, my approach to the game is very different than it was a few years ago. A few years ago, I could probably be a little bit more reckless and invest in many commanders as I want. But now that I am part of the majority in here, part of the 80 or 90% of the community that doesn't spend a whole lot into the game, that tries to survive in Rise of Kingdoms, I'm going to be getting Scipio Africanus here today and eventually I'm going to max it out. Now, the goal that I want to do with Scipio is I want to pair it up with a Guan Yu. Now, my question is to you guys, how many of you guys, regardless if you are a Cavs, Archer, or Infantry main, or maybe a Siege guy, <laughs> I'm just kidding, how many of you guys here today have Guan Yu maxed out? I want to know how many. Let me know in the comment section. So, Guan Yu has an ability to silence all targets in here. Now, this is going to be an AoE for fan shaping area. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pair it up with Scipio. Now, with Scipio, I'm going to try to do a 5-5-1-1 for the meantime. And then eventually, I'll max it out. Now, the reason why I want to do it this way is because I want to test the comparison of a 5-5-1-1 Scipio being realistic that not many players will be able to max it out. Well, there's going to be a good amount of players that will be able to max out Scipio, but there's also going to be a handful of players that might want to consider a 5-5-1-1 Scipio or maybe a 5-5-5-1 Scipio. So we got to be realistic in here. Not everybody is a huge spender. There's players in here that, you know, are casual spender, low spender, or even free to play that will be able to obtain Scipio and if you're looking for a future commander, when you get Scipio, you're going to have an idea on how the value of Scipio would be. Now, Scipio will benefit greatly on silence. Um, even the target is silence. Scipio will um, gain rage 30% faster. Now, increase still damage by 10% as well. This is a perfect match for Guan Yu. That rage regeneration is going to be really great. And then we also have health reduced in here, 30%. Really great when we can cast this more frequently. Now, let's go ahead and spin for Scipio because we're going to do is a 5-5-1-1 Scipio. I don't know if I can do it entirely in here in this video, but I'm going to try to do my best. I am still confused why the character has a letter P here. I don't know what the P means. It Could it be like, the reason why they put a P here because there is a previous Scipio already. So I don't know. Um, all right, let's do the 50% uh, spin real quick. Let's see what we got. Trash. We did not get something great there. Let's do a five spin. Oh my God. Eight right away. We got 10 right away. Oh my goodness. On the first spin. So. There we go. There we go. We're done. We can summon it. Maybe we're going to be very, very lucky for this one. Actually, let's do a no skip animation this time. Let's see where we land. That skip animation was solid, man. It gave us really good. My goodness. Maybe with this uh, spin thing, it's not going to give us anything great anymore. Yeah, a bunch of golds. Let's do a skip animation. Let's see. Oh my god. Second time with the skip animation. I think you guys need to click skip animation because you're going to get, oh my god, decent amount of Scipio Africanus onto the sculpture. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right. Let's collect this. All right. We're going to get five here. All right. So let's do another spin of skip animation. Okay, we got two. All right. Kind of kind of exciting here, guys. Kind of exciting. By the way, I don't know if you guys noticed. Sipio actually has a little bit more defined leg. By the way, what's in the offers in here? Why is he in the... Why? What? Why is he in the uh, Cavs rotation in here? These are all cavalry. He's the only infantry. Oh, my God. That's a little taunt. 
Um, that's a little taunt there. All right, let's do this. All right. Okay, one only. Come on, man. Come on, Lilith. Can't be doing me like this. I have 112k gems. We're going to open up some gems too later. Two Scipios. This is good. We're still getting more Scipios as we're going through this um, spin. Um, nope. We didn't get any. But we got one legendary universal there. Oh, man. Luck is running through, running out. Let's do a uh, spin here. Okay. Man, it would be great if we land on another eight, right? It would be freaking amazing for another eight. That would be great. Unfortunately, we got uh, one sculpture only. Let's do a skip animation. Maybe there's a little pattern. Skip animation. Oh my god, I jinxed myself. What happened? 10 Scipio right there. This is the last one. Do we skip? Yeah, let's just skip. Okay, we got three. We got four, technically. All right, we got Legendary Commander Sculpture there. So we got, let's see how much we got total. We got 44 in this whole thing. I think it's not bad. It's not a bad spin at all. We're about 87k gems. Running low on gems. Let's use all of my backup gems here. All right. There goes my backup gems. So as you guys can see, my 650 is only one of them. Because I haven't really been buying the gem supply either, which I should buy the gem supply. I probably will now because I'm going to run out of gems. Um, but I've told you guys I've kind of cut down into my spending. But I'm probably and most likely going to buy the um, Rider of History as we summon this for Scipio Africanus. Let's click summon here right now. And um, this is Scipio. Looks pretty dope. Looks nice. Oh, look at this little wolf, Wolfgang. Oh, I didn't even notice that. All right, let's click confirm. And let's max out the skill. By the way, we have a uh, 1,284. So even if I max out Scipio, I should be able to max out whatever wheel commander that is going to come out for the archers. I'm probably not going to go for the MGE of archers, but instead I'm going to get the wheel of the archer one. So we got 499 Rider of History. This is a good pack. When you see this, buy it. If you're new, if you're a spender, just get it. Okay. If you're a low spender, this is a great pack to get. All right, let's go and upgrade Scipio. Let's get this. I want to see the skill animation as well. One, two, work short. All right, I'm just going to finish that up. You didn't see me do that. Three, there we go. All right, so four. Basically four there. All right, so let's, let's, let's bring it out. I want to bring it out. I want to bring him by himself. This is exciting. Where is Scipio? There we go. Oh, man. He looks good. All right, let's bring him out by himself. There's a barbarian right there. Let's go march towards the barbarian. Can we actually see what he looks like in here? Let's see what he looks like. Oh, okay, it looks pretty cool. I don't like that it's blue. It's supposed to be red. It's kind of unfortunate. All right, let's hide over there. Let's go out here. I want to see the skill animation. I know we've seen the skill animation already from the video, but I want to see it here live as we were creating this video today. All right, let's see. All right, skill animation coming out pretty soon. I can't wait to have a Guan Yu and Scipio. Ooh, it looks freaking amazing. Oh my God, I'm I'm I, I'm liking this. Ooh, we're gonna do some uh, testings for this one. You know, especially we're going to be in KVK soon. So we're definitely going to see my Scipio in action. Oh my God. We're going to do a more of a realistic testing, I think, in really in the war. I think that's going to be the most realistic sense. You know, when we do one-on-one -on -one in here, you don't really see that in the real battlefield. You know, one-on-one -on -one in the real battlefield that doesn't really happen. But more like, you know, actually seeing... Uh, the performance of it in the battlefield as uh, you know as you target many players so a guan and scipio um basically one of the things that we can also gauge it is you know how much um how much would uh you know we could gain from 
you know, from the uh, kills in here, right? So right now, it didn't really update. I just killed one barbarian, but it didn't really update. But we can always gauge the, you know, the, uh, the performance of it as well through the kill ratio of, uh, of the commander of Scipio. So this is absolutely amazing. I like it that we got Scipio here now. Um, we're battling here. So we, you know, defeated the Calvin, of course. It's just a Calvin. And um, really great buff that we got in here. For it's an AOE area, it's an AOE skill, and I'm um, reducing the target's health by 25%. So we can double check that into the battle log whenever a skill is cast right here. All right, skill casted. Um, there we go, unmatched strength, which is really nice to see. You can see that uh, Calvin's troop gained the buff and takes effect at the start of the next turn. So you can see Calvin then. Um, health decrease by 25% due to withered effect caused by Scipio, and it has two more turns. So it reduced the um, troop health, you can see here on the side, by negative 25%, right? So the first cast, when it casts in turn 11, you don't see it, but you will see it in 12, 13, 14, and gone in 15, then it, the enemy did the cast on us. So that's pretty much how the um, buff will work for Scipio Africanus. So definitely very excited. Guys, kind of bear with me here because I'm still going to do some next spin here for the Wheel of Fortune. All right, guys, I'm going to do another spin here before we head out. It's the second day for the Wheel of Fortune. Um, let me consume all of this and um, let's get going on spinning again. And I think I started to buy the, all right, I did buy the 30-day uh, uh, gem supply. All right. Let's spin this. Uh, the goal is to hit 100 here. So we'll basically just do 100 spin. It's to, oh, nice, a free with one. All right. We'll just skip five times. All right. Not bad. I'm hoping I can get another eight of Scipio. Oh, what is this? This is a 10 legendary commander sculpture. Nice. All right. Mm, okay, we're gonna do a five five one one of Scipio, and I'm gonna do a Guan Scipio, like I mentioned. I saw a battle report also a Martel Scipio, very interesting. Hmm. My goodness, no luck. Okay, this is the last one. I'll just do another five in here. All right, we'll have a little extra. Yikes, that kind of hurts. Oh, I never did my 50% off one. All right, but that's pretty much it. I'll do a 50%. I'll take the stars. And uh, we got 75k gems left. Where is Scipio? He shouldn't be that hard to find. There we go. And we can up one more skill. We'll definitely do a 5 max right there. And then we can probably just use our, you know, exchange of the Legendary Commander Sculpture here. But like I said, I'm going to do a 5 5 one, one first, and we'll do some battles. All right, and then see how things go. All right, Rockers, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys again next time. Don't, don't forget, before you guys head out, show some love, subscribe, turn your notification on, and press like on the video. I'll see you again next time.